Dell Beckham in a second. The first college basketball, Wisconsin, Illinois, Khalil Iverson. Runs the floor. Nice it's a little bit back. like another Iverson there. That, Did is he that too far? Y'all don't Did he? know. <laughs> a little Good too far. Maybe you toward the end. Sam Pepper. It's a nice he dunk. Gave a, little more, a little more love. Next, Virginia, Virginia Tech. Ahmed Hill steps in front of the Virginia nice. Pass. Coast to coast. We need to make sure to guys stay are doing out of the no, guys are, yeah, but you know what? Guys are doing 360s and going behind their back and dunking in a game. Like that's actually a really good dunk, but in the context of this year, it's just You're okay. right. Hater. That's a good point. Now uh, this is a look dunk. At this. From All Star Weekend, Jay Clark, the jumper, nice acrobatic dunk. This is impressive. That is, that that's is impressive. Very even, impressive. I have nothing negative to say about that. To not be is that a ten foot? To, do you think that's a ten foot hoop though? I do. Yeah, I do. And he wasn't on a trampoline either. He was. We see it during games, you know, the trampolines. Yeah. Like the time now for in and out, in or out. First round hopeful Kyler Murray is getting compared to Lamar Jackson with an NFL executive saying Kyler is, quote, way better than Lamar. So, Chris, are you in or out on Kyler having a more promising future than Lamar? I'm way in on this. Uh, I, I like Lamar Jackson, but I don't think he's comparable to Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is a much better passer. He's a much better pocket passer. Like, Kyler Murray, the only question about him is his height. It's not his skill set for today's NFL. So there are a lot of questions about Lamar Jackson, and it doesn't have to do with his height. So. I would say it's it's height, hand size. Will he will he stay in the pocket? He, but he has. But he better, can. But he, he will does stay, throw from the pocket. He does throw from the pocket. I don't think it's particularly close. I know Lamar Jackson just led the the Ravens to the playoffs. Um, but there's it, this is Tebow all over again. No one said Lamar Jackson couldn't throw. He actually throws the ball better than Tebow. He's just wildly inaccurate, short and intermediate throws. And you know, based upon and, and then his ability to read a defense is not great. I, I just I look at Kyler Murray and I think if he was six foot four, you know, that he would be the the greatest thing we've ever seen. Unfortunately, he's five nine and a half, and so there's some questions as to durability and will he be able to see. Be, because as, as T.J. Hushman's not explained it to me, you have to now have wide receivers that have really good eyes because he's going to have to throw through windows. You're not going to be able to see him kind of loading up and throwing the football. So you have to adjust all your personnel around him. But he can throw, he can compete, he's tough, he wins, and just like just like Lamar Jackson, he can run. I think he actually might be faster than Lamar Jackson, although Lamar never ran a 40. All right, moving on to Odell Beckham. Reports are that the Giants were aggressively shopping him last offseason. That was until the Pats came calling, and then they pulled their star wide out off the market. So, Doug, are you in or out on the Giants still trying to trade Odell before the season? I'm, I'm in, in on, on trying to trade him. That doesn't mean you just give him away, but you see what you can we're get back shopping. Yeah, because you're yet to pay that new contract. Once you get kind of locked into that, I didn't think. I think they should have made him show that he was the guy in the in the regular season that he was in the off season. But I would shop him because I I, I want to get the right reaction out of him. We need a, another a double buy in from him, and I'm still not I'm still not convinced that he can stay healthy. But to me, the big one was. Onside kick, chance to win a game, he's on the hands team, and he bails on it because it's a business decision. Hey, dude, to, to who much is given, more is expected. And this is, you have one job in this game. You're playing against Chicago Bears, an elite team in the NFC, and you just watch the ball go to the ground? Uh-uh. That, that's almost as bad as Cam Newton doing the same thing in the Super Bowl down six points. Unacceptable team behavior. It's a little different in the Super Bowl than that regular season yeah. meaningless game. I said yeah. almost as bad. <laughs> but uh, I'm out on it. I, I think you keep Odell Beckham Jr. I think he's one of the top skill position players, wide receivers in the league. And the trio of OBJ, Evan Ingram at tight end, and Saquon Barkley, I think could be really dangerous if you get the right quarterback. I wouldn't shop him, Doug. I'd listen. He's not untradeable. I would listen, and if somebody blows me away, fine. I may move him, but no, I'm not trying to trade him. I'm out on this. Moving on to two of the biggest targets this NBA offseason. Rumors have it Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving could both be heading to the Knicks. This all amped up with the two responded talking at the All-Star game. So, Doug, are you in or out on Kyrie and Durant winning a title if they pair up with the Knicks? I'm going to be out because I, I don't think either truly understand how good they have it where they are. Right? It's And it's not just about the talent in Golden State. The talent's great, but the culture's really good. 
right? The culture's really good, and they really defend, and they really understand who he is and what he needs to do in order to be effective. And I think the same is true with Kyrie Irving. I do think that Brad Stevens is a better coach than David Fisdale. I do think that Danny Ainge is, is the best general manager in the NBA. I think there's a reason that they won a title there before, and then they blew it up, and they're close to winning a title now. I think they're in great places, and then the idea that, hey, they're going to make a team out of nothing and automatically win, Kyrie never stays healthy, right? And, and like, look, KD, it's going to take a year before you're really up and running and you can win a title. And at some point, his game is going to is gonna, is gonna start to slip when he gets into his mid-30s. Plus, no one's, everybody said I want to do it in New York, and no one's done New York. I'm out on it. I say this with much hesitation uh, because New York has been the place legends go to die. I mean, from Larry Brown, Isaiah Thomas, Phil Jackson, uh, Carmelo Anthony, 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 Anthony Stephon Marbury, like going on, in. But I'm going in. All right. Because I, I think Kevin Durant, first of all, and Kyrie, I think they're both that good. I, I mean, they're spectacular. Yeah. And they would, you know, we don't know what draft pick the Knicks are going to get. But if they get that top pick or that second pick, it could be Zion or it could be Anthony Davis that they trade for that. So I, I think they will fit well together. It's, and remember, we've said there's one great team in the West right now. It's Golden State. If you take away Durant, I still think Golden State's a factor. But there's no the juggernaut in the league now. Everybody's kind of even. And I'll take those two against really any other duo out there. It's a great, that's a great point. All right, speaking of that top pick, we're going to end with Zion Williamson. If the basketball gods have any say, we will see the potential first-round pick in the NBA dunk contest next season to possibly go head-to-head -head with the likes of Giannis and Donovan Mitchell. So, Chris, are you in or out on Zion winning the dunk contest next year? I am in on Zion. I mean, who, who, I, I'll see what Doug says, but I can't imagine anybody wouldn't be in. Giannis may be too long. I mean, he's seven feet and he's just so long. He would have to come up with these incredibly creative things like Dwight Howard did or Aaron Gordon did. Maybe he can do it. Uh, and Donovan Mitchell, we saw him win it, but he, it, was, it wasn't one of those historic performances. So I'm on Zion winning it next year. I'm in on Zion win winning the dunk contest. Um, yeah, the too long thing is kind of weird. Giannis could take off from a three-point line. Well, if he does that. <laughs> Forget the free throw line. Remember, Mike Conley's dad took off from the three-point line. Did he? Oh. I know he went from the free throw line with two hands, but he, he went, probably did. He went from to the world-class three, long three, Yeah, yeah. world-class yeah. long jump. Yeah. I mean, like, look, the other guy that's coming in the NBA, John ja Morant from Murray State, who is another freak athlete, would, would obviously be in competition. But this guy, he's, he's as good as he's billed. And it's jaw-dropping to watch a man that size, young man that size, only 18 years old, jump that high, that explosive, with that amount of creativity. He's doing game dunks that would score well right. yeah. in the dunk contest. What can you do in the dunk contest with a brand new, you know, they put in that brand new floor, so everybody, I mean, I don't know if you guys saw, Steph threw down a 360. Yeah! You get you get those new floors that they put in for the All-Star Games and everybody's got bounce, gets a couple more inches, and you get the hype of dunking in front of all the greats of all time. I can't wait to see what he would do. I think if Zach, they get Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon in it though, Ah, that that could that be. That should. It's, it's in Chicago. I, I still, it's young. still. I, I, I still feel yeah. like Le, I. I, I want to know why LeBron ducked the dunk, dunk contest. I don't think he would have been a great contest dunker. I just don't think he, he had is, that great. In the and, early years, yeah, in the early years he was again he was pretty good. If he had come up with things like Dwight Howard, these creative things, make because LeBron's big, but he wasn't and that bulky. bulky. He wasn't that bulky when yeah. he was. But he doesn't. He doesn't have years the young. race that a Vince Carter, Michael Jordan, right. and Kobe. The window is closed. That's my coming up. Is there trouble brewing between Aaron 34. Rodgers and his new coach? That's next. That first thing. Doctor J was thirty-four in his last. Was he really? Yeah, he played he like Larry Nance. Played